my God, nunca he comido aquí antes. Tom Perez chairs the Democratic National Committee. He stopped by La Lechonera El Barrio in Orlando for Spanish pork and chicken and then listened to a long menu of complaints. People want to change. Voters telling him they're worried about coronavirus, health care, and unemployment. Latino voters, uh, Puerto Ricans here, you know, in, in the Orlando area, uh, they know that Donald Trump has had a knife in their back, and they know that Joe Biden will have their back. This will be the first election in U.S. history in which Latinos are projected to be the nation's largest minority voting group, 13 percent, ahead of the 12.5 percent for African Americans. Joe Biden can use a boost in the Sunshine State. Polls consistently show that his popularity among Latino voters in Florida trails that of Hillary Clinton's numbers four years ago. Clinton won 66 percent of the Florida Hispanic vote in 2016 to just 28 percent for President Trump. A recent Monmouth poll shows Biden with just 58 percent of Hispanic voters and President Trump up to 32 percent. Nationally, the numbers are similar. According to YouGov, 57 percent for Biden, 30 percent for President Trump. But it is something central to our campaign. The Trump campaign's national press secretary tells me historic low unemployment pre-pandemic among Hispanics and the campaign's outreach to Latino Christians in Central Florida, notably several visits by Vice President Mike Pence to a church and Christian school, are driving the president's numbers up. Well, the religious freedom aspect of this president's administration is also uh, very popular in the Hispanic community. And you see stories out there that Joe Biden is struggling with that community because, again, he's been in office for nearly uh, half of a century at this point and has done nothing. History reminds us that since 1992, only one Democrat, John Kerry, got less than 60 percent of the Hispanic vote. He lost. Biden may need at least 60 percent of Latino voters to win. And that was Greg Fox reporting. Right now, there are roughly 2.4 million registered Hispanic voters in Florida, roughly 17 percent of all registered voters in the state.